everyone, it's Diane with the Angel Hug for Friday, Saturday and Sunday, the 10th, 11th and 12th of May. And I'm going to start with, where am I going? Right, Archangel cards. So, right, let's just have a quick look at the message from the Archangel deck and just see what our focus is for Friday. And this feels like something to do with being very gentle with ourselves. Right, Claire Audience, um, Archangel Zadkiel, notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. So this is going to be a day of really, really trusting what's coming through us, trusting how we're being guided and really connecting, reconnecting with that after a period of some confusion and after beginning to reaffirm um, where we're going with what we really, really choose to do or what we really feel is the path that we've come here to walk. So it's really also a question, not just of listening inwardly and hearing the guidance that comes from the angelic realm and from our divine creator, but also trusting the synchronicities around us. So for example, if you hear something more than, I would say, for me, normally I go by more than three times in a week, three times or more in a week, then I say, okay, that's a synchronicity. That's something there that the universe that God is trying to tell me. And sometimes that's speaking through someone else. Sometimes that's speaking through a song on the radio. Sometimes it's just something, a word that I keep seeing. And um, if something is just following you around, notice today, what is it that's calling you? Be sensible, be grounded about it. You know, don't just be kind of wandering around looking for messages in the wind constantly you know on the way to work when you you've really got to turn up and be um I suppose have your wits about you as it were but just be aware that Friday is going to be a good day to notice things that are saying yes to the manifestation that you decided on yesterday or they're saying look deeper or look somewhere else, or there's something else that you need to add to the picture. And I would say the, the sense of being gentle comes from, okay, recognize that we're walking very gently through this universe, and sometimes it speaks very softly to us. So sometimes it just it doesn't even speak in words. Sometimes it just speaks through a knowingness in our hearts. And when it comes to clear audience, yes, I'm going to say that we are actually um, sometimes feeling a sense of a telepathic communication. So it's just a reminder from your guides not to listen for them to sound exactly as I sound speaking to you outside your head in a really clear voice. For some of us who have really, really worked on developing that, it will be clear, it will get louder and it will be be clearer as the years goes on go on but also acknowledge that sometimes they speak <laughs> one of my native american guides is saying sometimes we speak in whispers and sometimes the earth speaks in whispers and the heart is always speaking and the heart always whispers okay so that's for friday um which means be gentle when you're listening, be gentle with yourself and don't expect a big crash bang wallop message, lightning bolt, you know, God's landing down, landing from heaven on a cloud and, you know, you know what I mean. Okay, so Saturday, overcoming difficulties. Archangel Jeremiah says the worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. So, just a reminder, if you watched Thursday's Ascension Angel Hug, um, it was a very intense week. It's a, been a very intense time of releasing and letting go of the past and allowing this particular wave of lower energy to move out and to move on through, to roll on by, as one of my friends used to say. And um, it, just know that things are, we're in a much lighter phase again now. Yes, there'll be waves again, but recognize when there are waves and try not to see those as the ultimate infinite way of the truth that how this is how things are. Because when things do get quite intense and those energies start to con condense and coagulate around us or seemingly so, it can look as if that's all there is. They can really, really shroud the landscape. And it's really about, and I'm seeing the clouds part, and they're saying it's about knowing that there's always sunshine behind those clouds. The sun is there behind the moon when there's an eclipse. The sun is always trying to shine light on the truth. It's always there. And underneath all of these seeming difficulties, there is a bright new day. There is a potential.
potential for a heaven on earth and for a personal utopia for each and every one of us. And um, I hope that doesn't sound like sunshine and lollipops. I have to just give you what I'm getting and I trust completely in those messages. So that's it for Saturday. And um, I'm going to choose something from the secret language of colour cards for Sunday because I love them and their messages tend to be very light, very colour based. And uh, right, I've just felt a stop there. Oh, sapphire. That's beautiful. And it, the message is regenerate your body. And this to me feels like, and as I'm looking at it, it looks like, you know, almost like shards of glass. So I have to say there will be things that have been shattered. There will be paradigms and old sense of, senses of ourselves, old false perceptions of ourselves that have been shattered in the lead up to that last eclipse. And now are, we are releasing those things and, you know, revealing a new layer of this more crystalline structure of the body, this finer frequency of the body, and we need to integrate that new sense of self. We need to integrate that new transformation, and one of the ways to do that is to regenerate the body by, again, I know I keep talking about water, but by bringing more water into the body, new water, new consciousness, um, getting out into the sun and allowing the sun to penetrate the cells, to penetrate the body as much as possible. New oxygen, new air, new light, new life. And with those high frequency foods as well, they are going to be really important. So if you were thinking of having a cleanse, um, doing a bit of juicing, obviously I'm not advising you, um, but if it feels like a good time for you to do that, this is a good time to bring in new energy and new consciousness by bringing in plant energy, plant awareness, plant consciousness, and the superfoods as well and to keep bringing water through all of those things so that you know there's no attachment it's just running through the body and adding a new quality of regeneration and consciousness to the cells at every level and you could focus on that while you actually take in that new consciousness and set your intention into the food and drink and rest as well somebody said to me don't forget to mention rest rest is really important and um yeah, if you really feel like, you know, you get home from work or, you know, you're just kind of, you've had quite a long day and it feels as if you just need to have a rest, a, a weird early evening power nap at six or seven or something or, you know, whenever, and you're thinking, well, it's so close to bedtime, I won't bother. If your body is saying you need to rest, <laughs> go and have a lie down even for half an hour, call it a meditation, go deep into yourself, switch off the phone, switch off everything, all of these artificial frequencies and come into a connection with the real frequencies, something deeper and more gentle and loving and, and regenerative. And that's it for Sunday, everyone. Have a great time um, with just oh, integrating this new awareness and with starting anything that is in, the tr in line with the truth of this new growth, growth spurt. Okay, and I'll be back on Monday. Thanks for listening. Bye.